Between long lines, canceled flights, and the fact that you'll probably get crammed into a middle seat next to a guy with a persistent, productive cough, commercial flying can be rough. Maybe that's why an alternative form of transportation has been surging in popularity. We're looking at why the private jet industry has been flying high. An historic blizzard created a big hot mess at airports this holiday season, but if you flew private, you may have had an easier time navigating it all. We're here in front of one of our Honda jets. We have 11 in fleet. This is not a motorcycle. This is not a motorcycle. No, it's got Honda's, three wheels. Honda's come a long way. It certainly has. This is James Cuff with the aviation company Volato. We caught up with him at the jet set hangar at Scottsdale Airport. First, he explains why the private jet industry has taken off in recent years. Since 2019, through the pandemic, the industry's grown by 20%. COVID kicked it into high gear. It's virus avoidance, as well as the fact that people couldn't fly. A lot of people also that had tried it for the first time realize they can't live without it. So it's a growth industry. It's booming. So what are the benefits of private jets? The fact that you don't need to worry about getting to the airport, baggage claim, dealing with security and all those kinds of things. But beyond that, you realize how much more efficient it is from a time standpoint. He says flying private also saves time because you have access to more airports. Like if you're flying in Florida and you're going from St. Augustine to Tampa, you'll need to say connect through Jacksonville. Whereas if you fly private, you can fly direct. Straight line. Absolutely. And then there are the perks. We can arrange food service for you or do special requests. Say if there's an anniversary or a special occasion, we can get something on the aircraft for you to surprise your loved ones. And now as the private jet industry grows and evolves, there are more ways than ever to fly private. Can a schmuck like me book something like this? You certainly can, absolutely. So you can call our charter people and they'll, they'll slot you in. Some private aviation companies offer fractional ownership. That's where you own a percentage of the aircraft. That's really cool. Absolutely, and then you get it with 48 hours on demand. Many companies also offer jet card memberships. So can you ballpark it for me? It varies across programs, but with Velato, for example, our jet card, our stretch jet card, is about $5,500 an hour to fly this aircraft. The way the card works is you buy a block of hours and use them as you go. And if your flight time's flexible, they'll even give you a bonus. You might want to fly at 11 in the morning, but if we move them by a couple of hours, we reward them with time credit back on their card. Finally, a growing number of companies are allowing travelers to book individual seats with other passengers on private jets. This is called semi-private flying, and the cost of some flights are reportedly in the same ballpark as first-class airline tickets. The benefit is that if we can get every aircraft flying with people on it, it's better for the industry and it's better for the environment. It's an ever-changing industry, and flying private has reached new heights.